Good morning, students. Myself, Meli Sankla. In our subject, design of crystal concrete structure, shear and torsion strength design, we discuss the steps of design. In design steps, first of all, we understand the full form. V U is equal to our factor shear at ultimate load, and V D L and V L L that means shear due to dead load, and V L L that is shear due to live load. Now. After member is designed as a flexor, sulphate is known and it is included as a dead load. Grade of concrete is known from flexor design. Grade of steel for stirrups is selected before design for shear as per IS 1343-2012 and the grade of steel is limited to Fe415 that means we have to select below Fe415. And the following quantities are also known that is V C shear capacity of concrete and A S V is the area of stirrups and S V is the spacing of stirrups. Now one by one steps for designing of stirrups along the length of beam. First we calculate the shear demand that is V U at critical section and check V U divide B D T less than our tau C maximum. If it is not satisfied increase the depth or width of section and b is the width of web that is bw and dt is the larger of dp and ds that we discussed in previous lecture calculate the shear capacity of concrete vc from the lower of vco and vcr in presence of inclined tendons or vertical stress Vertical component of pre-stressing force VP can be added to VCO. Now calculate the requirement of shear reinforcement through area of stirrups divided by spacing. Compare value with minimum re requirement. Calculate the maximum spacing and round it off to multiple of 5 mm and also the size of member number of leg. Of stirrups based on amount of required type of section and space to accommodate. This one is the steps for when we provide a stirrups in our beam. Now, here we learn the equation according to shear capacity for crack section, and this will be given in IS 1343 close number 20 23.4.2. Now, when our section is cracked in flexor, if moment is greater than design cracking moment that is MO, we use cracking shear capacity VCR. Okay, and VCR is equal to 1 minus 0.55 FPS divided by FPU multiplied by VC into BV into D and plus MO divided by M. V and this value is greater or equal to 0.1 BV D under root FCU. Okay, and we can write also this VC is equal to VCR. Okay, now one by one, what is M? M is equal to moment acting at the section, and V is equal to shear acting at the section. MO is equal to moment required to remove. 0.8 of compressive stress at the level of press stress okay and equation of this moment mo is equal to 0.8 fce i divided by e and vcr should not be less than 0.1 bd under root fck this relation okay that means greater or equal to 0.1 bvd under root fcu or we can write fcu is equal to fck now fce here the FCE is equal to PS divided by AG plus PS into E square divided by IG. Okay, now what is FPS? Full form of FPS is stress in tendon. Okay, FPU is equal to ultimate tensile strength of tendon. This one is the stress in tendon. This one is the ultimate strength, tensile strength of tendon. BV is the shear width web section d is equal to effective depth and vc is equal to design shear strength of concrete now what is the equation of vc if not given 
points when 79 divided by 1.25 100 as bvd raised to point 33 then 400 divided by effective depth raised to point 25 fcu that means ultimate concrete strength divided by 25 raised to point 33 okay now we find out shear capacity of uncracked section and this is given in close number 23 4.1 in IS 1343 2012. A section is uncracked if applied moment is less than MO. In such section, the principal tensile stress in web is limited to FT is equal to 0.24 under root FCU and this FCU is equal to FCK based on Mohor circle analysis an equation is equal to vc is equal to 0.267 b into d under root of ft, FT square plus 0.8 fcp and ft now what is fcp fcp is the compressive stress due to pre-stress at centroidal axis okay and fcp we find out ps divided by area and vp is equal to vertical component of pre-stress at section Resist the applied shear and remaining variable have previous meaning. Okay, same full form of this term is earlier of cracked section. Now, design for shear reinforcement that will be given in again IS1343-2012 close number 23 4.3. Okay, and equation ASV divided by B into SV is equal to 0.4 divide by 0.87 fi and we find out spacing of stirrups that is equal to 0.87 fi asv divide by 0.4 b now what is asv that is cross section area of our stirrups b is equal to width of member sv is equal to spacing of stirrups and fi is equal to wheel strength of steel now shear reinforcement need not to be provided in following cases here when we provide shear reinforcement depend upon this relation when v is less than 0.5 vc if member of minor importance v greater than vc shear reinforcement shall be provided okay Re relation is given whenever v shear force is greater than shear capacity of concrete here shear reinforcement shall be provided and relation is asv divided by sv is equal to v minus vc 0.87 fi dt okay this one is the condition when we provide shear reinforcement now spacing of stirrups along the members shall not be exceed 0.75 dt and 4 tw for flange member again shear force greater than 1.8 vc the maximum spacing of stirrup should not exceed 0.5 dt and the lateral spacing of individual leg of stirrup should not increase 0.75 dt and again this will be given in our is134 table okay concrete grid according to we have to take a maximum tau max okay if m30 is given we have to take shear maximum 3.5 m35 3.7 okay according to our data we can select the maximum shear stress according to our grade of concrete okay and table number 5.1 now example number one example number one pristress concrete girder for bridge having on symmetrical i section has following properties span 30 meter top flange 1000 mm and thickness is given 200 mm bottom flange 400 mm by 350 mm and web 1200 mm deep and 150 mm thick girder is presented by pre-stressed by cable initial tensile force 4500 kN at eccentricity of 600 mm and center of span 150 mm at support girder has to support ultimate shear force 1200 kN at support and loss ratio is 0.85 estimate ultimate shear resistance of support section considering section uncracked condition is given uncracked so here we follow the equation of uncracked flexure and grade of concrete is given f50 m50 and shear reinforcement is given 415 also design the shear reinforcement 
okay look at this according to data we have to plot a eye girder okay this one is the on symmetrical section now first we find out centroid from bottom yb is equal to we get 1010 mm and total overall depth of eye girder is 1750 minus this 1010 and we find 740 40 mm that is yt and total area of this eye girder is equal to 520000 mm square according to this yt yb and area we find out moment of inertia with respect to our parallaxis theorem this one is the flange then web and flange and finally we get i 20.37 into 10 days to 10 mm raised to 4 we write down the properties that given in data p is equal to 4500 kN eta that means 0.85 loss ratio fck is given 50 F five four one five and F T because here the uncracked section is given. So first of all, we find out tensile stress that is point forty four twenty four under root F C K, and that is one point seventy newton per mm square. And according to this, we find out F C B that is eta P by A because loss ratio is given point eighty five. So we find out effective compressive stress eta P by A point eighty five. The stressing force is given, and A is equal to area of this eye girder. We get seven point three five newton per mm square. Okay, look at this. P is given four thousand five hundred kilo newton. Okay, now next for section on cracked close number given in our IS one three four three two thousand twelve. We use the equation V C is equal to V C O point. 67 bd under root of ft square plus 0.8 fcp into ft this is the ultimate shear resistance okay vc is our ultimate shear resistance 0.67 b is equal to 150 d is equal to overall depth of section 1750 ft we find out okay uh, under root 0.24 under root of fck fcp also we find out put the values and we get ultimate Shear resistance that is six hundred thirty one point thirty four kilo newton. Now, as the tendon are sloping, vertical component of stressing force will be added to V C O or V C. Slope of tendon theta is equal to four e by L. Four e is equal to six hundred minus one fifty. That is and divided by L span is given thirty meters so thirty thousand and here we get answer in radian. And then again we convert into degree, and when we convert radian into degree, we multiply with 180 degree divided by pi, and answer is 3.44 degree. Okay. Next, vertical component of tendon P is equal to eta and 4500 that is our stressing force and sine theta. Okay. We find out. Look at this. We find out theta is equal to 344 okay and stressing force is given 4500 so put here 0.85 eta 4500 and sin theta we get vertical component is equal to 229.5 kN now overall we see co resistance is equal to 631.34 plus add this 229.5 due to cable alignment 860.84 kN Now our V, 1200 kilonewton greater than 860.84 kilonewton. Okay, look at this. We go first one. V is given. Okay, here ultimate shear force is given 1200 kilonewton at support. This will be given in data, and we compare the calculated value. And here our V that given ultimate shear stress 1200 kilonewton is given. Greater than of 860 kilonewton, so shear reinforcement is to be designed. Okay, if this value is less than compared to this one, there is no need to provide. Now, for for which force we provided shear reinforcement? So we find out difference between V minus V C ultimate shear uh, force 1200 minus this V 339.16 kilonewton net shear force, and we provide 
shear reinforcement for this shear force depth dt is equal to total overall depth 1750 minus 100 cover and we get 1650 mm now 740 plus e okay and 740 plus e e is our 600 okay and overall we get 1340 mm depth now taking a larger value to provide a shear reinforcement both of this 1650 is our large value and we can select here dt now now we find out spacing of stirrups that is equal to 0.87 fy into asv into dt divided by v minus vc now we find out area of spacing asv is equal to 2 into pi by 4 d square here we select diameter of spacings that is 10 mm okay and area of spacing uh, stirrups is 157 mm square and put the all values in this equation 0.87 fy is equal to 415 as we find out 157 dt is equal to 1650 divided by v minus vc okay and this one is 339.16 multiply by 10 to 3 because convert into newton okay and this equation is given is 1343 2012 close number 23 4.3.2 and ultimately we find out spacing of stirrups that is 276 mm now we find out maximum spacing first relation is 0.75 dt 0.75 into dt 1650 that is equal to 1237 mm and second is 4 into thickness of web 4 into 150 that means 600 mm okay both values are maximum values so we pro uh, provide stirrups 10 mm dia two leg vertical stirrups at spacing 275 mm center to center okay here we stop in next session we solve the another example just now we stop